Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be just a really quick tip slash tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys, especially those of you who are new to makeup, that eyeshadow does not have to be this crazy, complicated, terrible formula where you have to practice it for years and years to get a good look. Like, that's not even the case at all. When I first started doing makeup, just playing around with my mom's makeup in the bathroom, I would just be using my fingers, like Q-tips, just putting looks together that were actually pretty fairly decent for not using brushes. So today I just wanted to show you a look that I came up with using only these guys, my fingers, my phalanges, and the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to really achieve a beautiful look that's really fast and easy. If you guys don't have tons of brushes or you see all these people with like brush rolls and tons of brush collections, you don't need that necessarily. You can achieve a look without brushes and I just wanted to show you guys that today. Fingers are honestly the best tool. They can, they're the most multi-purpose. They warm product up, they blend things in beautifully. And yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to feel pressure to spend tons of money on products and brushes. I mean, even, I'm even guilty of this. You see me using brushes all the time, like tons and tons of different brushes, but realistically, they're not necessary per se to achieve beautiful eyeshadow looks. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do a really easy smoky eye using just your fingers. So I'm gonna be taking this light tan color from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It is just a very neutral, sandy color, and I'm gonna pop that all over the lid just using my finger, and I'm not even gonna be blending this out, obviously, because I can't without a brush. And I'm just applying this as a light wash of color all over the face. And I'm just putting this as a light wash of color all over the lid. Now, to define the outer corner a little bit more, I'm gonna be taking this medium color on my pinky, so a little bit of a smaller finger, and just putting that right into the crease and deepening it up and blending it over just a little bit. Then taking a clean finger and I'm just going to blend out the edge and sweep it up towards my brow bone. Now taking a darker color, this is a dark like chocolate brown color from Too Faced and I'm just going to pop that right into the outer corner focusing it really just right out at that like outer dent that you have right there. Not necessarily like in the outer V, but right at that hollow, right at the corner of your eye. And with a clean finger, just start blending that up towards your crease and brow bone. Now to just blend that down a little bit, I'm gonna be taking this matte white shade, popping that right under the brow, and just blending that down into the eye. And now for a pretty pop of color, I'm just going to be taking this champagne -y gold color from the palette and I'm going to pop that right onto the center of the lid and just blend that out. And lastly, to highlight the inner corner, taking that light white again, just pressing that one dot right into the inner corner and then blending that out. And literally, done. That is a super quick, easy smoky eye. I don't even know if that took over a minute to do. So it's really easy to achieve. And now I'm gonna show you guys one more look on the opposite side. This one's gonna be a little bit darker. Same thing, just using my fingers. I'm gonna be taking this medium brown and I'm gonna sweep this all over the lid, like so. And this has very pretty copper reflexive tones in it. So it will actually just blend itself out because it's a metallic shade. That's another tip for you guys. Metallic shades, especially the um, L'Oreal Infallible shadows, those you don't really have to blend out that much. You can just wipe them all over the place and they'll just blend perfectly. And then to deepen that up a little bit more, I'm going to be taking this purple tone right here. And I'm going to work that very close to the lash line. And then taking this medium brown tone, this one right here, I'm just going to start smoking out the crease and blending everything out. Really working it up gently towards the brow bone. And then taking that light highlight color again and then popping that right at the top of the brow bone just to smooth and blend everything together. 
And then I'm going to take my pinky, my very small pinky, and get into that dark brown right there. I'm going to just bring that right along the lower lash line. And then if I take my clean finger and just drag out at the corner, like so, you get a very slight cat eye. So those are two really easy, simple looks, guys, that I just did with my fingers in under five minutes with one palette. That just goes to show that if you're in a pinch, if you can't afford tons and tons of brushes, so you have like clean ones on hand at all times, don't worry about it. You don't have to feel pressured to go buy all these crazy things and spend all this money. You can use your fingers or a Q-tip or even if you have art brushes, honestly, paint brushes are basically the same thing. Just make sure that they're not scratching your eyes and whatnot. Make do with what you have. Don't feel like you can't do makeup if you don't have all of the products that you see us on YouTube using all the time. I want you guys to just have fun with makeup. Some of the best and most beautiful looks that I create are when I'm just walking by a palette and I'm like, hmm, let's just throw something on here right now. That's sometimes the best looks that I've ever done. So really just play around with it. Don't feel intimidated or pressured. If you guys had a lot of fun watching this video, let me know in the comment bar down below. Maybe I will one day do a whole entire look dedicated to only using our fingers or just like one brush for an entire look. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see and I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe and I will see you guys later. All right, bye. It is just a coppery brown tone. It actually looks like it has a little bit of this color in it which is medium dark.